So this might be my last chance to talk to the UCTM, and so that makes it a really bittersweet kind of experience for me. And I thought it might be a good chance to, to share with you some of the things that I have learned in my eight years being the math specialist at USOE. One of the first things that I've learned is that I really love math. And I guess that's not something new, that's why I went into math, but a lot of people don't know I actually have a master's degree in history as well as my math background. And over the years, when my career turned out to be a, a career of teaching math, I'm so glad I never ended up in the history classroom, don't tell anybody. Um, at, at least in this group, I know that you understand. One of the reasons is because I have come more and more to appreciate the beauty of math. I've seen mathematical representations later in my career that I never knew were part of what mathematics really was when I was studying. And I've also learned that math is a ton of fun. So we've heard some other teachers talk about how fun it is. My Pinterest board is full of math jokes. Uh, how many math jokes have we just seen? Math is just so exciting that you never really get tired of it. I also know, how many of you are middle school teachers? <laughs> middle school is where it's at. About half of my teaching career I was in middle school, and every single day in middle school I left laughing because there's always so much entertainment. But it's also the place where we really hook kids into wanting to pursue math. And then high school becomes so important. High school teachers, yay. Um, we're still working on high school, and I really commend the hard work that you high school teachers have done as we've changed the core in the last couple of years because we're working so hard to get it right. Yes, this is me in 1985. So one of the things that I've learned, this is down at Dixie Middle, um, one of the things that I've learned is that nothing is going to stay the same. So when things change, like the Utah core, that's just one of the pieces that's going to keep on happening. Since I was, when I was in the state office, three different cores. Now that we have Jolie in the state office, we'll see if she can keep things pinned down a little bit better. But someday, the core is going to change again. Just like the students change. Now that one picture is not one of my first years teaching. I did teach a start a long time ago. But the students have actually changed quite a lot. And when you think about the diversity in our classrooms, when you think about our language learners, when you think about the kinds of home lives that they have and the experiences that they have, especially with technology, we know that we can't keep teaching the way that we did in 1985. Something has to change. We need to embrace the kinds of technology that are available to us enhance the mathematics uh, curriculum that we're teaching for our students and really make it a wonderful world. I've also learned that accountability is here to stay. So we wish school grading might go away. We wish that the accountability system were different. And guess what? It will be because everything is always changing. But we know we're going to keep testing our students at the end of the year. And we know that we're going to be held accountable as teachers. A real key is professional learning. I have invested more and more in professional learning over the years because I know how important it is. And your new math specialist, Jolie, you see her up there? She knows how important it is too. And I know that that's something she's going to keep doing. Also, Utah teachers are all awesome. Do a Google search on Utah teachers' images, and you'll get these pictures. And these are people I know. So I, I see Travis up there and my good friend Chris Cunningham from Washington County. And then, oh, I see there's a little change here in my PowerPoint. That U-star is one word. There's a lot of support, even in the legislature, for mathematics in Utah. When you think about the millions of dollars that have been invested in STEM the last couple of years, when you think about the U-star program, that gives us heart for the times when we have to face opposition. So um, you can see that the people in green, I took those pictures outside of my front window in my, in my office. There is opposition, and we're always going to be dealing with that. But we know how to do what's right, and by collaborating, we can make everything better. It's my friends in this audience who got me through some of those dark days when I thought we might lose the new core, and who, and who said, hey, look what's going on in my classroom. And it's when you work together that you really can have a better world. Part of that working together is working on the national level. So this is a picture of the officers of the Association of State Supervisors of Mathematics. That's an organization I'm president of right now. And I've been able to bring lots of good stuff to Utah because of that collaboration. 
I've also learned that being with the math peeps is really the most fun. So I love it when groups come to the state office to work and I get a chance to be with them. And I love um, the, the one picture there is at PCMI, working with students up at Park City last summer. Um, and you can see Todd. I've also learned that teaching is something to treasure. You know, I had my 26 years in the classroom and I look back on them so fondly. We've heard from some math teachers today about the fun they're still having in their classroom and it all goes by really, really fast. So really treasure that opportunity. And finally, UCTM is the best. I have been a member since the early 80s. It's a membership that I am going to keep as I move on to other things now. And I hope that you'll do the same because all my friends are here. Thanks.